welcome to Roller. Um, we're going to work filters today and hip creases. And one of the things that is the hardest part of this is getting set up. So I'm going to take our time getting the piece set up. We need both our roller and our mat for this. Um, so you're going to want to put them side by side. Right? And you want the roller to be more in the middle of the mat. I have the mat folded. So one of the things that we're going to do is, is position our knee behind the roller right here and the other knee on the mat. And we have to move this back a little bit. I might have to disturb our mascot, who knows? All right, so we have that here. So the knee is on the mat and the, and the knee is behind the roller. You extend the leg behind the roller and you lower the hip crease. And that's the body between the palm and the, uh, and, and the transverse abdominal. Crease right on, somebody needs to mute, right onto the roller, right? You put the knee up, you scoot the knee up to lower your body down onto your elbows right here. So I hope everybody has this. I'm gonna do an angle. And if you're on it, just stay on it. Don't worry about my angling. I wanna make sure that we all get the motion. All right, so the leg is down and the mat is right here. All right, so we haven't done this in a long time. This is a really important workout because in this workout, we get to open up our hips on both sides. And I just need to adjust this a little bit. Open up our hips on both sides and create a lot more room in the groin. And that also helps create um, uh, aligned pelvis. All right, so long leg. All right, you're gonna put your foot into the floor. You're flexing it into the floor and you're just rocking back and forth. Now this should hurt actually. You should feel the roller stabbing you kind of in the crotch as you go back and forth. This is a different angle, but you keep going. And make sure you can get this. It's kind of hard to film, but, but I think most of you have been in class with this before. So back and forth on that groin muscle. The other knee is just relaxed, so you don't even have to pay attention to it. The other thing I want to do is make sure you don't overgrip your hands. All right, so. Screen, keep just going back and forth. They really want us to open it up. Really want us to open it up right here. Good. Foot is still on the floor. Foot is, foot is um, flexed into the floor. Hands are free, eyes are head on the floor. You put your little sock there and look at it again so that we don't lift or lower our heads. All right, now stop and let that um, roller stab you in the uh, groin muscle. All right, uh, flatten the foot and lower the knee. So now it's just, you've lowered your leg. So there's a little bit more pressure pushing back on that muscle. So this is gonna be good for opening up what hurts in your hips and the wrapping muscles. Um, and again, align your pelvis, which a lot of us need align because we cross our legs and we drive with our legs in different positions and so on. And just hold that. Now I'd like you to point the foot and lift it just an inch off the floor and you're going to feel a lot more pressure into the area. There we go. Breathe into it. Now you're going to keep the foot pointed, but not hard. And you're gonna bring the foot into the glute and back out. Into the glute and back out. We're gonna do 10 of these, but so slowly. Because what's happening here, you can feel the muscle expanding the track. And so the roller is gonna dig into it. And if there are any adhesions, we're gonna feel them release. Good. And last two and the last one. And then lower that leg down and then drop your chest to the floor. You can put your head to the side because we are gonna put it to the side in the other direction. Just let it get in there. Now from this position, we're going to point the foot and take it higher 
you're going to feel it lift above the roller. So it's just like an inch above the roller. Just hold it right there. Good. Now curl it again. Nice. Good job. Yes, four more. Slowly. You want this to be slow because you don't want to jerk any of these muscles. Last two and stay with your chest on the floor. Last one and lower it down and come back up onto your elbows and just hold it right there. Nice. Now from here, we're going to roll down to the middle mark. Good. You still have more to do. Just roll down from your groin to the middle of your thigh. That's it. Your foot kind of stays stable on the floor. Let's do three more. And two. And one. And hold it back in that groin. Now you're going to stick the foot that's on the mat into the floor. And you're going to roll onto the hip and down. Okay, I keep getting out of the camera. Onto that hip and down. Good job. Onto that hip and down. You can watch my straight move. Onto the hip and down. Five more. Five. You can really feel this. And four. Open wide. You want all that to be affected. Three. Good. Two, nice, and one. And bring yourself back down. Make sure you're positioned correctly and put your chest back on the floor. Head to the side. Make sure your knee is still pointed down. All right, lift it as high as you can. You're going to feel a little bit of the bone move in, so you might want to roll the roller down just a little bit. The ASIS bone and curl it in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Extend it and bring it back down and bring yourself back up onto your chest, off your, on your elbows, and just rock back and forth inside that piriformis bone or in that uh, pelvic muscle, that groin muscle. All right, now we're gonna take it to the belly button, down to the groin, belly button to groin, roll it. Good, nice, good, five more, five, good, four, three, two, and one, and release, nice job. We're gonna put our hands on your elbows, and come up onto our mat. Bring yourself all the way up. So you're gonna feel the difference between the two sides. If you just take the side of your hand and slide it down, groin muscle, you're gonna see it doesn't meet. So let's try to do this on the other side. Good job. All right, we're flipping it over here. And same alignment. So, Knee on the mat, knee behind the roller. I know, get my camera angle. Slide the leg behind the roller back and scoop the other one up onto the mat. Come down and put it under the floor and we're just gonna roll back. I really like to initiate this slowly, especially if we haven't done it in a long time. and your elbows are on the floor, you're not pressing into your elbows, your hands are released. Sometimes you get people who grip their hands too tightly. I'm trying to figure out what that thing under my bed is. Oh, it's over there, yeah. Good. All right, just flatten the foot and release it. Let it sit there and let it get, let it get a lot driving through that muscle. Good. Breathe into it. I'll tell you when I think we're ready. All right. Uh, point the foot and lift it off the floor. 
just hold it right there. All right, 10 hamstring presses. One, good, pointed foot. Two, make sure the knee stays down. Three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, and 10. Push it out there, good. Then lower the foot and then lower your chest. Now you want to put your head the other way. Whatever way you were turning it before, turn it the other way. Drop your shoulder blades. All right, point the leg and take it off the floor just to, uh, to um, roller height. Hold it there. Let's curl it in. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now we're going to come back up onto our elbows and roll down to the middle of the thigh. Two, foot is into the floor. Three, Four, five, six. Oh, this one wants it. Seven. It really does. Sorry, you're in my way. Eight. Don't give me that look. Give it to the people up there. Nine and ten. Nice job. All right, now we're going to stick our, that's a good boy. Stick our foot into the floor and go up onto our hip. One. Good. The other foot. Two. Good. Three. Nice. Four, five, six, seven, following that line. Eight. Are you sure you're comfortable? Nine and ten, and hold it up there and then bring it back down. Good job. All right, we're back onto our um, hands. We're gonna take the leg up as far as we can. Hold it there. You're gonna feel the ASIS bone. Hit that roller and bring your foot in. One, two, three, four. Extend it all the way. Five, six. Come on, unfold. Seven, eight, nine. And 10, and lower it down. And we're gonna come back up onto our elbows and roll to our belly button and down. Two, oh my God, breathe, breathe. Come on. Got it. Watch your shoulders, don't rest on them. We're gonna be trying to work those out. <clears throat> Here's your last two, and your last one. And lower that leg, put your hands under your shoulders, come on over to your mat, bring yourself up, and now we have an aligned groin. All right, let's do some upper body. Good timing. And we don't need our mat for this, but we will need our mat later, so don't move it too far away. Okay. All right. Oh, put your arms around your head. Well, let's go. You want your feet in front of your knees. You're going to move closer toward them with every roll. So there will be some knee action. Tighten it. Yeah. Make sure that you have your arms wrapped around your head and that <clears throat> you're lifted and your belly button's to your spine. Just want to do some normal rolls for a while. Normal, ordinary, clean. Predicted classical, classical rolls. There we go. I knew there was a word I needed. So we really want to get the shoulders right. So let's go onto the shoulder blades a little bit. Just hold there. Now I want you to go as slow as you can from the shoulder blades to the rear delt towards the back of the shoulder. Start on the shoulder blades. 
and then just really slowly pull up there. Now this isn't like separating vertebrae. This is pushing against muscular adhesion, right? There we go. And then at the shoulder, stop right there and lean to one side. Not bend at all, just lean. And come back to center and lean to the other side. And then back to center and then go back down to your shoulder blades, just as slowly. And then hold it back there. Now slip below the shoulder blades and rock side to side. It'll go a little bit faster. We're gonna get some blood pumping into the area we were just pushing against. Just a little bit more blood, so we get more oxygen. Good. And the last one, and come back to center, and then let's go up and down our backs. I'm gonna do alignment today for the whole two minutes. All right, lower your glutes, put your hands above your eyes, and push yourself up and then fold. Ooh. All right, we do need alignment, or we meaning I. So, Jesus, I have to work around this obstruction. I hope you guys have a nice clear floor, and I certainly can't kick them out, can I? Make sure you line up your roller next to your mat, and then we get onto the roller the same way we get onto the mat. We lower ourselves vertebrae by vertebrae. We make sure our feet are in front of our knee, our head is over our elbow. Once we're down, we try to open our body up as much as possible. So lift those glutes up, wiggle those shoulders up, belly button to the spine, take those hands, close them right along the side of the roller. Here come your two minutes, nod your chin down. Now remember, we talked about different ways to approach this. One is to do deep breathing to get your spinal canal in harmony with the rest of your body and then it's kind of like a little breath thing. Or we can do inhale through the stomach, out through the mouth, in through the mouth, out, blowing chest and, and stomach alternation. So you can do that or you can do quiet breathing and just meditate on your alignment or you can use it as a point of like fabulous resting. Like just really feel the whole thing approach you. One of the things you want to make sure is that you're on the back of your head so that that lumbar curve is right where it belongs. Last minute already, one minute gone. So my friend um, from Egypt who just left, who was here for four months, she ended up buying a winter coat and she bought the winter coat because she was going to visit her brother in DC before she goes to Egypt because she has to shop like crazy. All her friends want things from, you know, bookstores over here. They can't get in Egypt. And she gets to um, D.C. and it's like 60 degrees. And she's like, I don't understand. California was freezing. D.C. so hot. It's like, I don't know, 30 more seconds. Now she has this cute green coat that she won't be able to use in Cairo ever. So I don't know. Anyway, it was funny. Talk to her this morning. The last 15 seconds. It's one of the days I could stay in on here all day. We used to talk about that in class a lot. But you don't want to get off the roller. All right, slide onto your mat. Oh, God, that feels so good. All right, especially after that racing. Racing for the race set of um, workouts in Pilates today. All right, you want to have your hips parallel. Take your legs to tabletop. And we're going to do our, our routine. So we're going to take our legs straight up, turn them out, flex them, lower the flex to our shoulders, keeping the heels together. Take it on over the roller in a soft point. We go back to point at parallel. Turn it out, flex the foot. This is so all over leg. We take it out and bring it back to point in parallel. Turn it out, 
electric. Move it down. Take it out. Oh, God, it feels so good. One of the things that you want to make sure you're doing is when you hit each spot that it's it's articulated, right? So when you turn, you're turning your knees all the way to where you can. When you flex, you're pushing your heels as high into the ceiling as possible. When you bring it down, you're creating an, a, a connection with your chest. You feel the chest open and stomach kind of loosen a little bit. When you take it out, you really point it out. So you feel the hamstring <coughs> extend and then bring it back to point in parallel. So that's kind of the idea. <coughs> so having that idea in mind, let's do it again. So turn out. Flex it, lower it down, push it out, and bring it back together. Let's do it again. Turn it, flex it, bring it down, take it out, and bring it back together. Let's do it backwards so that you have to hit those points with a different sensibility. So take it out, big turn. Bring those heels into a flex. So that's different action, right? Push up through, extending those legs through the hamstrings. I've got that flex, then point it and bring it back in. Take it out again. Bring it in. Push it through. Point it and bring it back in. Last time, take it out. Bring it in. Push it through and point it and bring it back in. Let's go into a regular stretch. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. I get a lot more distance if I do that routine first. Big inhale and exhale lower and hold it right there. Nice. Drain inside the thigh and take it out to the side. Holding on to the roller with your opposite hand. Now you're going to hold on to the roller with the same hand, bring the other hand across. And go into your spinal twist. There you go. Your hip is to the ceiling, and that feels so good. Keep that leg extending. Let's keep that extension going on. Sometimes we soften it, tell you we're going to extend it. And bring it back up. Bring the other leg beside it. Let's go. Lower and lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. This leg is always hard to move. Nice. Holding. All right, hang on to your roller and take it out to the side. Push it on the inner thigh. And switch. Take it across. Take it up. Both legs over the roller. Take it out into your V. I'm going to keep reaching with it. Then we'll go into our helicopter. Zoom, 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 and go. Swinging it and swing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one, let it float till it's done floating, and then soften those knees, and then bring it together for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right leg to tabletop, left hand to floor, left and floor, bring it up, and lower yourselves down. Tomorrow we're going to stand on the roller a little bit, bottom of the feet together. Do some balance. Put your arms straight up this time. I want you to open your back, All right? Because sometimes we reach and that doesn't open our back as much. If we lift up, we need to get a little more of our open back right here. Now bring the hands toward the inner thighs and bring those shoulders into opening in the front and back, right? Nice. Then close the legs toward the screen. Roll over toward the screen. Bring yourself up. And then we're sitting in the middle. Roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. And last time up and down. Thank you for coming to Roller Stretch. 
I really appreciate doing this. I feel totally different than I did an hour ago, two hours. All right, let me stop the recording.